Hey everybody, it is Angie, Treasured Vintage, with a middle of the week, almost middle of the week, uh, video. So, I missed Sunday, and I thought I'd come on today. Um, hey Cheryl, how you doing? Got a different look going on today. I'm like, let me just put a hat on, what the heck? Um, oh, you're good. Good, Henry. Nice to see you here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what I got when I was with my friend um, when we went thrifting last week. Um, that was a lot of fun. So, um, not too many people in here yet, but that's okay. We can start. Hope everybody's day's going good. Oh, Barb, you didn't get here first. Hi, Donna Bell. How are you doing? So, you know, I, you know I had to get my big earrings. So, I got these. I almost, almost missed them because they were in a different place. They weren't in the case, like, with the rest of the stuff. So, I almost missed them, but these are cool. These were, like, hanging up out of the way. Hi, my friend. Lovely to see you. You too. Hi, Tracy. Cute outfit. Oh, thanks, Perla. How you doing? I like these. I like these a lot. They're no, they're no name, but they're cool. They will sell quickly. Somebody's going to want them. Oh, wrong side again. Somebody's going to want these. They're very, very cool. So I need to get those listed. Uh, you're good. How are you? I was there with you in, in virtual world. You were. <laughs> um, so, yep. I was happy to find these. They're pierced. That's what they look like on the back. And, you know, I, I usually don't pick up cloisonne stuff because I know it, it, there's a lot of it and it sells you know it sells but not that great and uh hey carla <laughs> i just decided to uh come on today what the heck um because i didn't didn't come on on sunday please say hi to my dog he's oh hi loki and i forget what the other one's called tracy loki and sunny i think is it loki and sunny hi boys give him a hug for me tracy I think I better start making people, um, more people, um, wrenches because of, of what's been going on lately with all the trollage, trollage out there. <laughs> so anybody wants to be a wrench, just let me know. And I'll, I will, I will make you a wrench. Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Anyway, about the cloisonne. I just couldn't resist these. I just thought they were so pretty. I love the, the intricate work on them. They were on their, their card. And uh, I've seen that name before, S-I-T-I. -I. And uh, I just really thought that, that, that the work on them was really intricate. There was a lot of detail on them, and I thought they were really pretty. So I got them. And they were $3. I usually don't pay that. But I guess they thought they were special, too, and they charged $3 for them. They're not the only pair of cloisonne I got. I got other ones, too. I like these. These were special, too. Bum crack. Hey, I feel pretty special because I heard you were, like, backing off of the videos because you needed to get things done and and i understand that and i feel pretty special that you came on my video thank you <laughs> you came on to see me and probably bianca because i know you love to talk bianca these are really cute these are like um cardinals oh don't mind the necklace i'll show you that in a minute probably getting mixed up here Let's see, she's got a necklace and she's got clothes in there. This is Cardinal. I think that's really cute. I've never seen the Cardinal on the uh, earrings before, so. And these are clip-on. 
You love these? I love them too. I think they're really, really neat for like uh, winter time. I hope my lighting's okay. I feel like it's kind of off today. Yeah, the detail's very nice on those. On 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 all these. Um, and then I got a pair of Laurel Birch ones. And these are called uh, Minot Bird by um, Laurel Birch. So I don't know if her stuff still sells well or not, but used to be something that you should pick up. But I don't know if it does that great anymore now or not. I didn't look these up. Yeah, I need to start sleeping again. I'm pleased to be here, Angie. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Is Cloisonne a brand? I thought it was just a style or design. You're right. It, it is just style or design. But um, sometimes they'll put that on the card just to let them let people know that that is what it is. Um, so, yeah, these are marked on the back. Actually, they're marked Minor Bird and Laurel Birch. So I'll have to look them up and see if they're, see if they're okay. Hey, Carol. How you doing? I'm showing this stuff from when I went thrifting with my friend uh, last week. Hey, Cindy. Um, and these I I showed already, but I found out these are Avon. They're and they were in my Avon book, and they're called Paradise. So I wouldn't have guessed they were Avon, um, but usually they're signed. But the, these aren't signed. But they're really in uh, nice shape, and they're really well made and they're from i think the 80s but they're called paradise probably because of the colors i love those colors they maybe i'll sell them along with the the laurel birch because the, they seemed like they complement i don't know maybe yeah i do too and then i got this it's a pin pendant uh it is uh, What's that sign? Oh, this is also Avon. And this is really nice. It's one of these Maltese cross pins. Pin pendant. Uh, the setting is really pretty. Look how that uh, sparkles. And there's a lot of flash to it. And um, these sell pretty good, These these type of pins. And you see on the back, it's got the pendant, got a nice bail for the pendant, a nice big one, and then the, the pin, really good shape. Yeah, Carol's bringing Avon back. I predict, Carol said, it's going to be the big thing. <laughs> it's a moderator. <laughs> Call me dumb, but what's a, what's a wrench, please? Oh, yeah, Tracy, it's a... It's a moderator. Um, it's it's who's showing up there in blue, and if we get any trolls in here, they can take care of them. In fact, I'll just make you one. I'll make you one too. There you go, Tracy. Now you're a moderator. I think. I think you're showing up blue, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, helpfully, I mean, helpfully, hopefully, you know, mine are in the daytime. It seems like the trolls are at night, maybe more so. Uh-oh, Carol, Angie is moving in on your Avon Thunder. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm back. I'm still back with the Monet. I'm still with the Monet. <laughs> I did pick up this cute uh, Rottweiler dog pin that someone made. They, they painted it. They got the little newspaper, the little uh, bowl, and the bone. And it's like ceramic. And uh, it's got the signature on it. Can't really, I don't really know what the signature says. It's pretty hard to read. But someone actually made that, and it's pretty cute. I think that'll sell around Christmas time for somebody that has a Rottweiler. I do love my Monet. You know, the more I think about it, 
the more I think that that I'm going to keep a lot of the older pieces, not the newer ones so much, but the ones that are from the 60s. Like I just sold the pair of 1967 chandelier earrings that I had that were so cool. And I just regret selling those so much. I just miss them so much. <laughs> I wish that I had kept them. Hey, Granny Josie. I just like, why did I sell them? They were in my book. They were a book piece and they were like rare. I just know they were rare. And, and now they're gone, you know. I'll never find them again. And I'm like, why did I sell those? Well, I did get like, I think I got 46 for them or something. But still, they were on sale because I had them up for 52. And they were worth it. They were worth it because they were really, really cool. Do I hit them with the wrench? <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> um you you get along those three dots and you just you either put them in a timeout you click on them three dots put them in a timeout or you can hide them from the chat if they cause any trouble till i hit them with a wrench i wanted to be a mod in the 70s but that type of but the type that rode the lamb bretta or the vespa spoo scooter oh my gosh I can't talk and listen to the who the jam one day i might get an old vespa <laughs> i'd like to see you on a vespa i'd like to see you just just see you bum crack but vespas are cool they are and i am going to make you a mod i am going to make you a moderator there you go now you are a moderator <laughs> is there a different hang tag or marks for older monet um Actually, in my book, I think there's a page just dedicated to that, the, the different marks. So I do think they are, there's different ones for different years. Yes, Cheryl. Um, and that Illusion Jewels um, website that I talk about frequently, you can go there and look it up too, because they do have um, the different ones on there too, on that website. See all the troublemakers? Are wrenches. <laughs> I'll see all the troublemakers are wrenches. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trouble trouble reading today for some reason. These are pretty. I like these. These may very well be Avon too, and they're not marked. They're real wide at the bottom, hoop earrings. Carol, I just watched your stone lot. I'm gonna have to watch your stone lot too, Carol. I saw that look pretty interesting. Hey, Kathleen. Kathleen, I, I keep forgetting you're this and that creations. Oh, thanks. You like the hat? It's from Letterkenny. It's from the Army Depot that I used to work at. Something about biological hazards or something. <laughs> hey, Amy. Hi, Angie. I thought about you the whole time visiting PA and my dad recently. Oh, Amy, where were you? Where were you at in Pennsylvania? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Kathleen. What is this? This is my this is my girl, the hairy thing. <laughs> yeah, I was just holding the hair here, huh? Red lion. Okay, that's what? That may be an hour or two from me. I've heard of red lion. Wow. That's pretty close. Okay, I got this thing, and I wasn't sure whether it was a a, a bangle or a, a choker. And I think it's a choker because it sure is uh, it sure is big enough for it. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not marked or anything, but it's it's kind of uh, uh, stretchy like, and it looks really cool on on her. So. And I had it on too. It doesn't really go with this outfit, but but I'm gonna put it on. Show you. See how it is in the inside? It's kind of like the stretchy bracelet type stuff. See, if it was a if it was a bracelet, it wouldn't be that big, right? Check check it out.
pretty cool. I mean, it does fit kind of snug. It's like, you know, it's there. Definitely know it's there. I don't think I'd want a hot flash when I have it on. I'll be going, Phew. it'd be flying off. <laughs> Choking your mannequin head. <laughs> Choking my head. <laughs> um, it's a, uh, it, it's not really tight, tight, but it, you know, you know, it's there, but I think it's cool. I think you could wear it. I definitely think that you could wear it and it wouldn't be a problem. I think it looks like a choker too. Yeah. And I think somebody's going to like it. I think somebody's going to buy that. Number one, people like the serpent things. Uh, there's no stones missing. It's in good condition. It's uh golden black with all the stones. I think it's pretty cool. I do. So. So, yeah, I just have to get it listed. Just have to get it listed. Um, what else did I get when I was at the store? I, I didn't get that there, by the way. I've, I've had that. That was another thing that I didn't show. You have a great eye for jewelry. Thank you. I got that in a lot, actually, so I didn't really know I was going to get it because I didn't see that some very basic nice thick silver tone hoops i went to an estate sale and she had jewelry displays three dollars each or five for ten i think that was a good deal i think that was a good deal too that's that's good these are chico's got these um most of the earrings that i got were like um two dollars which I don't really like to pay that much, but um, for Chico's or something like that, I'll pay that much, $2. And they're nice. Somebody will buy those. Someone will like those. Sally, you home? Hey, Jill. I guess you're home now. You've been home for a little bit. And I got these. These are cool. With the leaf, you know, the leaf motif for fall. So I like those. I like the fact that they're uh, real textured and sparkly and dangly. All my favorites are here right now. Yay. Oh, that's nice, Jill. You're home. Yay. You sell Chico's on Etsy? I do. I do sell Chico's on Etsy. It's it's old enough. Um, you know, you can't really specifically date the pieces exactly. But, you know, I go by, a lot of times I'll go by, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes I'll go by, like, how old the company is. You know, sometimes you have to go by that, how just how old the company is. And if it's before 1999 or whatever, then I will sell it. Hi, Miss Chris. Happy to see you today. This is Chris. I just bought your jar all oh, to Granny Josie. Mm, cool. I'm going to make din soon. i got to get ready for the auction later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I won't be on long because there's an auction later, people. It's going to be my friends. It's going to be Carla and Sally and uh, April. And I think that's it. I think that's going to be it. Sometime I might join them, but not this week. Um, here's a, a, a pin. I was going to say Monet, but it's not signed. It's geometric. I like the square, abstract, geometric look of it. Um, it's cream-colored enamel and gold. Not big on the cream colored enamel and gold, but I like the design of that. I think that's pretty cool. What time is it? It's uh what time is it, Carla? It's is it seven? Angie, I will be in the auction also. That's right, Kathleen's gonna be on too. I'm sorry, Kathleen. Hey Swampy, Swampy and your 25 pounds of jewelry that you only showed three pieces of. <laughs> I'm going to get on you about that swamp. 
Swampy says, I got 25 pounds of jewelry, and then on Facebook, he shows three little pieces of it. Can't, you got the, was it the big bag there on the scale, right? And then you showed us three pieces? Come on. That's teasing. <laughs> oh, it's 6.15 on Princess Casserole's channel. Thanks, thanks, Car uh, Sally. Swampy. You got anything to say about that, Swamp? <laughs> hey, Barb. Okay, I'm just reading. I already said hi to Barb, but more leaves. More leaves. They're cute. I like those. They're not signed, but they're kind of a, not real, a real goldy gold. I like the color of them. They're kind of a pale gold, which sometimes I really, really think that color is really nice. That really pale gold looks looks almost like more like real gold. See, like like my fourteen karat gold there. It looks like that. Swampy was at work. Yep. Don't tease the lady, Swamp Picker. Or they'll gang up on us in here. That's right. That's right. We will. <laughs> Got some of these. Tom, say hi to Rusty. How are you? What are you doing? Are you selling lots of clothing? Look out, Glenn. We will. So I, I advise you, Glenn, to, to get that bag of 25 pounds of jewelry out, pull out more pieces, or just lay the whole thing out and take yourself some pictures. Put the pictures on Facebook for us to see. <laughs> you like that? I kind of thought about you, and I thought, I'm going to do it, Tanya. How are you, Tonda? Tanya? <laughs> You're fine. You're being lazy but making sales. Hey, that's the way to go, isn't it? Being lazy and making sales. Just those. I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people have those kind of earrings, but the, I still like those. They're kind of cool. This is. Uh, I like this. I love the the way that uh, that's made. It's got a really nice pendant. I love that like checkerboard fa faceting on there. And I don't know, it almost looks like it has a purple cast, but I think it's more like, I don't, I can't, I can't describe it. Kind of like a iridescent. And then it has these two, two, um, strands going up. And then there's like rhinestones on each rhinestones on each side of those strands it's like double rhinestones it's really cute how it's made i like it so my husband's out getting a new mattress for his back i told him i said don't skimp hun just get whatever you need so he's out getting the mattress and I'm here doing a show. The dogs are outside the door so they don't bark. Yeah, I like that stone too. I, I had this. This is actually glass. It, it might even be that uh, Waterford crystal. I'm not sure. It could be. But I don't know how you tell that. But it's, it is glass. It's not acrylic or anything. It's got a cute bail on it. And then I found this really pretty um, Rolo chain to go on it. I think the chain looks real nice with it. Let me get this necklace out of the way so I can start putting stuff on here again. I like this because it's green. Mainly just because it's green because I like green. It is one of those multi-strand um, necklaces. That gets tangled up like crazy. And it's got a little bead dangle there like that. 
You love my shirt? Thank you. Yeah, I got it at uh, Goodwill, <laughs> I think, or Salvation Army or Goodwill. I don't know. Thanks. I like it, too. I get, like, most of my clothes at the thrift store. Truly, I do. But I think that looks really nice on that chain. Perfect for it. I really enjoy pairing up chains with pendants. I mean, I, I enjoy finding, when I find the right, the right mix, it's just like satis, satisfying to me when I find the right uh, combination. And, it, and I know it. As soon as I put it on, I'm like, that's it. That's the one. That's the one that goes with that. Bianca, hey, how are you? Bum cracks here. He's been looking for you. I'm sure. Uh, let's see here. Vendome. I think this one's the one that, that Carol gave me. Vendome. I don't know how it got in the box, but I love this one. It's marked Vendome when they uh, clasp. Right there. In script, it says Vendome. I don't know if you can see that or not. But Vendome's a really good maker. And that's a very pretty, classic, liquidy type chain. Look how look how nice that, well, I don't know what to say, flows or feels or it's just a really nice chain. Yep, Carol gave that one to me. Yep, I thought so. I love that one. I got these at the thrift store. These are really different. Now I see you, Angie. I'm feeling good. Oh, <laughs> Bianca. That's so nice. Now I see you. I'm feeling good. That's a very nice thing to say. So these are cool. These are like uh, some kind of stones, natural stones. And they're like raw stones. And they're like uh, wired or something into a leaf shape. There's like a leaf behind the stone, a leaf shape behind the stone. They're pretty cool, I think. I like them a lot. Um, someone probably made them, I guess. See, there's the backs. Like that, and they're clip-on. So they're pretty neat. And they were two. Looks like one... No, I was going to say one's a little bigger than the other, but I think that's just my eyes. Wowee, I learned from your, from you or maybe Anita that the pretty stone pendants go well with stiff wire, almost choker length chains. Question, do you know what I mean and what they are called? Hello, Bianca. Wow. Learn from your, uh, pretty stone pendants go well with. The stiff wire, almost choker link chains. No, Jill, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Probably Anita. I bet it was Anita that you learned that from. I'm sorry. You know what? I am very, uh, if there's one thing that I'm very not good at, not, let's put it this way, not very good at, is a stone ID identification and you know well i've said that many times before on my channel that's one of my weak points so that was probably anita that told you that uh like an omega ch uh yeah an omega chain thing like putting a slide on there or something these are cute i like these these are liz claiborne i think i showed these before I might have showed these. I feel like I did. These are lever back earrings. Really, really cute design. Bomb crack. I was busy, but I couldn't miss Angie. Oh. I surprised everybody, didn't I? Wasn't going to come on. I think my husband just got home. The dogs are barking. More big leaf earrings, double layered leaf earrings. 
think there could have been something else on these. Perhaps it was another leaf. There's a little hoop right here or loop. But I think that's fine. I think they're fine the way they are. I think somebody will buy them. I got to get these leaf things listed because it, it is fall, like in a, what, a week or so is fall. So, I mean, it's time to get the leaf things listed, right? They're pretty. I like them. This one moves. This one does not. This one, oh, it moves just a little bit, just a little harder to move than the other one. But they're cool. I like those. They were two. And this might have been a mistake. You know how I was talking last week? Yes, you did, Angie, but we love surprises. At least I did. <laughs> Sorry. Um, would you buy for 20 Crown Trafari? earrings and necklace kathleen hi um would i buy that for 20 yeah I, I think that's a good price um and depending on what what the earrings and necklace of the trafari is it could be more than that um there are some trafari pieces that go for a lot i mean there are some rare like collections that they did um i want to say something like jewels of the nile or something like that there's a there's, there's this one collection that has like colored cabochons in it. And I know that's a real um, coveted collection. And, and I think there is a Trafari Facebook group that if you all have questions about Trafari, that's probably good to seek them out. Yeah, Trafari is real collectible. So, you know, I was just talking about all the pearls that I have. <laughs> And kind of complaining, but I just love this. I love the dingle dangle on it. <laughs> I love the dingle dangle. So I got it. I just think that is so pretty. I love green. I love the way, you know, it's definitely vintage, the way that's made around there with the filigree cap and the, like, the rondelle of uh, green rhinestones around there. It's just cute the way it's made. I like it. So I got it. And I think it was only, I think it was a dollar. So. so I think that's cute for a dollar. <coughs> it's a go. Jewels of India. That's it. That's it, Princess Casserole. It's Jewels of India. That sounds right anyway. Uh, it's a gold tone swirl design. Okay, well, I, I think that's a good price, you know. Sounds good to me. Me too, for now. You're allowed to watch, but later I will watch you so you will get some sleep, bum crap picker. <laughs> and I don't know why. This, this is kind of dingy. <laughs> But it was a bird, so, you know, me and my birds, I had to have it. It's not the cleanest little bird, but it's the softest little bird pin I ever got. It's the softest little guy, and he's like a little finch or something, maybe, a gold finch or something. He's, he's puffy, he's stuffed, and he's got a vintage tag on the back with the pin. And it was only a quarter or something like, I think it was a quarter. I mean, it was really cheap, so I got it. You know, me and my birds had to get it. You're welcome, Kathleen. Hi, Nina. How are you? Yeah, I think it's cute. It doesn't really look so good there, does it? Maybe you could wear it, you could wear it on your hat, I bet, something like that. I passed on a pair of silver clip-ons at my new haunt I found last Friday. I meant to research them and I uh, forgot they were asking 10. That's a lot. But I didn't know how to tell if they were crown trafari either. Okay, Jill, to, to tell if they're crown trafari, above the T, there's a little crown. There's actually a, a little tiny crown above the T in the trafari when you look on the signature. So that's how you tell if it's 
a crown trafari or just a regular trafari and the crown trafaris are from the 60s 70s and uh that era <clears throat> There's the X and the O that uh, Tanya asked me about when I was out there, and it signed something. Now I forget what it signed, but um, I got that pin. Okay, they were they did have the the crown. Well, that's good. It's always they're always better with the crown than. I mean, I think they're more desirable with the crown. This I've had for a while. I think I already showed it, but I guess I'll show it again. <laughs> it's the little Coro with the bows. It's really cute. It's the it's the choker, and then it has the oh no, it's listener. I'm sorry. It's a choker, and it has the little bow earrings to match i think it's really cute i don't know how some of this stuff got in this box that i already showed you guys but it did oh and i got this big pin which i think is very cool i love the design of it stylized kind of a well, this looks like a pod um it's really big right it's really big put it on your hat put it on a handbag maybe you put it on your shoulder up here way up here or something they were silver is it trafari or monet that is usually gold it's uh monet that's usually gold is the exo paloma picasso no mm -mm. it's not that i know it's not that i wish dawn maybe it's a wannabe huh Cindy loves jewelry. Hi, Cindy. I didn't see you coming in. Hope you're doing good today. Okay, I think that's pretty much that box. Mm -hmm. mm, this looks newer, but it's a choker. Ooh, really is a choker. It's chunky. It's very chunky. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Cindy. Uh, big link. Antiqued gold tone choker. That's what it looks like on the back. That. This is stuff not from, not from uh, the other day. This is from stuff I didn't get to show you on Sunday that I would have showed you this is pretty but it's very lightweight it's it it's uh it's, it's nice but yet it's you know real lightweight hey Marie's here hi Marie so I'm not sure you know what the quality of that is like yeah, it's pretty, but the quality is kind of light. This is kind of cool, and I've never seen this clasp before. Obviously, it's something somebody made because the earrings are attached here with a twisty. You guys, it is not time yet. I hear little paws on the door. Did Tanya make you one of the doll heads? I see one over your shoulder. She did. That's Demetra over there. Hey, Mary Harris and Barbie Crafts. Looks like the jewels by Park Lane. Hmm. I'm trying to get this uh, twisty out of here. Hang on. Bear with me for a second. Okay, someone made this, but it's very, very cute. I love the colors in it, um, and then they had the earrings, the little dangle earrings to go with it. And look at this clasp. It's a very different clasp. Let's see if I can get it undone. See that? And, and that's the top, and I guess this is the bottom. 
and I think you just like pop it maybe yeah it I guess that goes in the hole like that and then you just snap it that's a cool clasp that's pretty neat so you can probably buy those clasps where you buy beads and things I would imagine but that's a pretty that's a pretty stone bead bracelet and the earrings to match hi Jennifer I'm having trouble determining whether glass or gems in a bracelet like that yeah <coughs> I do think this is uh, these are gems or glass <laughs> or, or glass or ceramic <laughs> you're right it is hard I, it's hard I mean you almost have to go to school for that be a gemologist or something I mean I and I don't get much from like looking at books or anything I, I don't you, you can't you, you have to almost have a, it in your hand to be able to tell for somebody to tell you hey this is that this is what that is it's hard to see something a, a stone on a page or on the computer and then go to your store and say well that's that you know if you know what I'm trying to say um hi Anita how are you here's some more of these type of stretchy bracelets but they're interesting they have some amethyst in them this one does and I think this is really cute. It's very small looking, but you see, it's cute. It's got leaves on it, little metal silver leaves and little beads. It's pretty cute. All I know is Park Lane is vintage. Yeah, Park Lane is vintage. It's nice. I like Park Lane stuff. Oh, I like this. This is really different um and i've seen this mark before you guys probably know this mark let me know who it is it's the b and the b looking thing um who is that i know somebody knows who that is um because it's pretty common i've had it before but i just forget just forget who that is but this is really a cute necklace, I think. I like that. I love the open work. I love the designs on it. Does anybody else like that? I think that's really pretty. It's real simple, but cute. Is it Dana Buckman? I don't know, is it? I don't know. That doesn't sound familiar to me it's got these i don't i don't think there's a d on it i think it's bees unless it's just you know for buckman possibly it's beautiful yeah i i really think it's i really think it's nice it's cute It's another just a silver tone. This one has a hang tag on it too. This one's Leah Sophia. I wonder when I'm going to be able to sell Leah Sophia on Etsy. I would think it should be soon. Yeah, I didn't know Dana Buckman made jewelry. Oh, they probably do. They probably do, yeah. This is a pretty necklace. It's pretty. I like it. It is Dana. I have one of her purses here, and it's the same mark. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. should write that down because I will forget that. Hang on while I write that down. Leah Sophia does have a lot of nice pieces. I agree.
Um, Dana Buckman. Hope I'm saying that right. B U C H M A N. Yeah, Le Leah Sophia used to be Lady Remington, right? And Act Two before that, really? Act Two before that? Hmm, I didn't know that. Oh, I got a key. I like the key. That's cute. Key necklace. Just like those. Cute little key. They do, but they were so expensive, Leah Sophia. Did you think so? I thought they were about average. What do we have here? Something. Something. Do we have one thing or do we have two things or is it tangled or what is it? Okay, it's coming. That's cute. That's cute. I thought Lady Remington used to be Sarah Coventry. No, that was Emmons. Emmons used to be Sarah Coventry. This is sparkly and kind of coppery colored. I think that's pretty. Really sparkles. It's nice and long, really sparkles. I think Leah went into imports little by little. Yeah. I don't think there's I think there's a lot of jewelry that was nice, you know, at one time. Now they're just kind of the quality went down. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. It's pretty. That's hematite with some different colored beads in it, in the little open circles. Cute. And we have just a pearl, dark colored pearl beads. I know Premier Design Jewelry is outrageously high for what it is. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. And um, I've I've seen the quality of some of their pieces and you know they don't they don't hold up Premier Design, I don't think. At least some of mine did didn't. The silver ones. Uh, the Lady Remington had a lifetime guarantee made in Providence like Monet. Oh, yeah, I've, I've come across some Lady Remington pieces, and they're always nice. They're always nicely made. What do you think of paparazzi? I think it's probably junk, isn't it? Isn't that the $5 jewelry? I think it's probably any jewelry that's $5 for everything. Like, I just don't, I just don't see how there would be quality there. What do you think of it, Barbie? The pretty bracelet. What's everybody else think of paparazzi? Yeah, fast fashion has hit jewelry too. Low, low quality and low cost and lots of garbage for the landfill. Sad, yeah. Uh, paparazzi's total garbage. <laughs> yeah, Barb says junk. Yeah. Cindy says she hates it. It's cheap. Every piece she's gotten has broke the first time she wore it. Yeah, I just, you know, as soon as I heard like $5 for every piece, and it doesn't even look... It doesn't even look nice. Um, you can tell that you can look at the quality. You, it doesn't, you don't even have to have it in your hand to see that it's not good. Uh, I was going to help a girl out. I don't know. I don't think I'd get into that, Barbie. I, I, I wouldn't. It's almost unethical to make things so cheaply and low quality. I agree. I agree. These are cute. Um, I don't know about you guys. Well, I'm sure you do. You, you feel the same way. You really, when you come across a good piece, number one, you know it. And number two, you really appreciate it. Um, there's just nothing like a, a well-made piece of jewelry. And um, give me $5 in a thrift store. <laughs> yeah. C 
see what you can do with that, huh, Carla? I agree. Carol never heard of paparazzi. It's like a it's like a thing where uh, um it's it's one of these things where people um get you to sell it. Um it's like a racket. They get you to, they get you to sell it and you get I don't know what you get. It's like paparazzi people, like Leah Sophia people, like you know, I don't know if they have parties and stuff or what, but yeah. I'd rather give someone five dollars who's trying to work. Exactly. Yeah, that. There's that. Oh, this is cute. What do we have here? Tangleage earrings and a necklace. Tangleage. Hold on. This is cute. You know, I've I've come across some of these that, you know, this this is obviously not quality but it's cute and it and i would wear that for you know a time or two i wouldn't consider it good jewelry or anything but i love the design of that little necklace i think that's adorable i, I love that just that uh design i like the dark with the pink the dark with the light pink and I'm sure this isn't, you know, there's no no tag on it. Very may have well been Claire's or something like that. And Claire's, I pretty much feel the same way about that I do paparazzi. Um, Claire's stuff, I usually just, you know, don't do anything with. That's cute, though. Yeah, I despise multi-level marketing. Guess, Guess was a pretty good brand. Uh, their stuff's pretty nice, I think. It says Guess 1981 on it. And that's a toggle necklace with a heart on it. It's pretty nice. Do you think uh, people will wear Guess? I know it's pro guess was probably a thing like years ago. It's probably not a thing anymore. I don't know if it's worth worth listing because I don't know if people would would actually buy guess anymore. What do you guys think? It's not in style anymore, right? Some Claire's things are prom stuff, but most cheap. Yeah, Claire's is dollar store jewelry. Yeah, only pricier, right? She's a young mom trying to make some bucks. I will probably buy some. Oh yeah, I'd you know I'd help her out if that was the case, Barbie. You know I'd I'd help her out. Maybe I'd just give her some money or I don't know. I guess I'd buy something just to help her out. But as far as like selling anything of or like thinking that you're getting something good from paparazzi, no, no. Oh, Forever Twenty One too. He still have a store in the malls. Wow, that pink really stands out on that black. Pretty. Yeah, that was pretty, wasn't it? You have several guest pieces that you like to wear. Um, I think guest is still worth trying to sell. You do? I, I have um, at least one guest thing in my shop. But I'm thinking it's like, you know, I don't, I'm just, I'm thinking it's one of those things that it's like totally out and nobody's going to buy it anymore. But I don't know why I think that. Claire's and that sort of jewelry is fun for my grand's dress-up closet. Yeah. Daughter and her friends still buy a lot of guest purses and shoes and jewelry. Oh, okay. All right. And they're young. Kathleen, they're, your, your daughters are pretty young. Maybe I'm just thinking wrong about that. I probably have a lot of misconceptions. <laughs> Here's one misconception. That skulls are not cool. <laughs> That's probably one of my misconceptions because I don't like skulls. I don't think they're cool. So, you know, oh well. <laughs> There's the skull. There's the skull bracelet. I think I might sell them posh better than Etsy. Yeah, but that's just me thinking out loud. But I think you're probably right, Cindy. Um Pots rot. Paparazzi has something that denotes a better price than the piece than the rest. I thought was funny since it's all $5, right? 
Uh, your daughters are 30 and 33, like some brands. I think some old brands have come back. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Hedren. Angie, what's with the hat? <laughs> I don't know. It felt like a different look. <laughs> I don't like skulls either. I like Vans. Oh, yeah? Oh, like Vans. Oh, the shoes are coming back. The shoes are coming back, Carla. The Vans. This is cute. I like this little bracelet. Oh, Kathleen loves the skull, and your daughter loves them. You might have to make me an offer on that skull brace. Okay. I will message you or something. Uh, this is cute, isn't it? I like this dainty little bracelet. Um, it's a little, it's actually kind of a little vinyl strap or something. But it has these little dangling flowers on it. It's very feminine. It's real cute. It's not old. Not old, I'm sure, but it has the little dangling bead, which I always like the little dangling beads. You like the skull. You have a friend who loves skulls. Okay, skull people. And uh, this is Monet, which is in my book. And by the way, Carla, I looked in the book for that uh, filigree station, really cool necklace you got, and I couldn't find it. So I'm thinking that must be a newer piece. That book only goes up to what, I think like 2006 or something. I'm thinking that necklace might be newer, that Monet necklace. However, this piece is in the book, and I couldn't find uh, couldn't find April's Monet brooch in the book either. That Monet book is worth getting, even though it is pricey. I, I do recommend if you're if you're gonna um, be looking to buy Avon to resell or collect, that book is the thing to have. Just uh, here's here's something somebody got something similar to this the other day. It was a cupcake, I think. This one's a this is a uh, ice cream cone. But I don't know who's who's haul I was looking at the other day, and they got a cupcake like this. Look just like it. I mean, they needs to make a new book. Yeah, they do. I want to get the Napier book. Um. I tried to get it on the website, but it wouldn't. It, something was glitchy about it, and I couldn't get it. We got a piece like that at Goodwill the other day, the rose. Oh, okay. What in the world? A very long necklace. Very long necklace like that. This is a modern type fashion necklace. Looks kind of cute. Look good with a tunic or something. Oh, what's this? Oh, these are nice. Oh, I like these. Oh, but they're screw back. I love the design of those. But they're screw back. You're at work. Hi, Kimberly Robinson. You just wanted to pop in and say hi. I appreciate that. Nice to see you. Thank you. It doesn't have everything, does it? No, it doesn't have everything. But it has a lot, especially of the older things. Um, what I like is the the uh, advertisements. You can look on there and see see a lot of the older pieces. I like those. Okay, well, it is an hour. That bird is making the noise. And it's funny, as soon as it's 4 o'clock and that bird sings, the dogs know it's time to eat. And they're, they start barking like little maniacs. Okay, you guys, I'm wrapping it up. Hold on. This is cute, too. <laughs> All right, so there's still some left for next week. I mean, on Sunday. So I'll come back and show you all more stuff on Sunday. Um, maybe I'll see you guys in the chat or something tonight. I got to get some orders packed up. I sold these today. Big earrings. Big earring sale. I sold this tassel necklace today, which is very cool. I love. I got to get that packed up, packaged up. 
and uh, I got another big order that it's going to take me a while to get packaged up. So I will see you guys later tonight. Yeah, see you in a couple hours, Carla. Later. Oh, it's Jim. Jim, where have you been? Jim's here. <laughs> I'll see you tonight, too, Jim, right? Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Later. You're welcome. I'll see you all later. Have a blessed day, night, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for being here, and thumbs up and like and all that stuff. Huh, how do I get off of here now? There we go. The stop. <laughs>